finally and today we have a review video yep we're doing a review on the new my little pony the movie it is a toys r us exclusive and it's called friendship festival okay so here they are in the box So out of all the 12 ponies in this box, the only pony that is not named is, well, no name. They named her Muffin, evidently. Like, I don't know why, why not just t name her Muffin then, instead of actual putting a Muffin? Her name's what? Derpy. It is Derpy. That is her name. So here they are on the back. The cartoon style is a bit different, especially since it's for the movie. It's more shaded. It's, well, yeah, even the style is a bit different. Their eyes are a bit bigger. Ooh, and they make their, like, chin and under, like... Very rounded. Neck very rounded, which makes them look really like Even uh, their frontal face, like Twilight's frontal face looks they different. They kind of look odd, except DJ looks fine in that one. Again with the muffin! <laughs> here is Twilight, and then Mod Pie and Pinkie Pie. Then here's the little sticker of authenticity. Sign of authenticity. So we bought online at the Toys R Us website. For $60. Yeah, that's very expensive, but it does come with a lot of ponies, so... 12, po 12 ponies in all, so it's So they're like reasonable. $5 a piece, so I guess that's not super bad, I guess, since it's a Toys R Us exclusive. So for this review, we're going to just show all the ponies first, and then we're going to give our opinions at the end of the video. So first, um, here is Applejack. And Big Mac. So they have tons of glitter. Well, she does. This is actually the first time that Big Mac has been made yeah. in like a pony form, other than like Which him being I'm a figurine. I'm kind of mad. I feel like they should have done that in the old mold first. Yeah, and also they put his... It, it doesn't even... Well, other than opinion wise, oh. his hairs are very interesting. Yeah, we're gonna keep out concept. our opinions. <laughs> we're gonna keep out our opinions until the end of the video, but we're just gonna state the obvious pretty much and his eyes are lopsided, like they printed them on wrong. Same with hers. They are lopsided. And I don't know, hers don't look that lopsided. Yeah, they kinda are. They are? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. See? Maybe I can't uh, maybe. Oh I can tell. Do you see now? I can see that. You mean them? Well, I, I guess I see it. It's not, you can't really see it on camera, but in real life you can see it. Yeah. And, of course, the shape of the head is not really, like, the good one. But anyways, so the box kind of made her legs really spread it apart, which I'm kind of not happy with. Was that now. just like the original ones, or is the legs more spread apart than usual? It's more spread apart than usual, I think. But anyways, so she came with this, what is this kind of thing? Tinsel. Tinsel hair. It's like this nice pinkish, purplish And she has and glitterified feet. Yep, glitter five feet. And um, they cut his hair, it's like, so it's like almost like a mohawk, which not really like that in the show. Uh, bup, 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 opinion. No, I'm just kidding, that's so obvious. Yeah, yeah, like so the as you can see, the hair is like a mohawk. A mohawk. Um, they did actually do the freckles on her. I like how they actually did decide to actually do the detail her her freckles. I wish they did that with all the old ones. Then for Big Mac over here, his cutie mark is the apple. They even got they little really seeds. Good. They got the yeah. wee little seeds. So for these guys, their coloring is pretty spot on with their character. Yeah, sometimes like it, people like this color Big Mac's hair, but it's orange like it's supposed to be, so that's good. Yep, so here he is. The only thing is they did not paint the bottom of his hooves like, like how he should be. They put tan, like a like green color. color. Yeah, but overall their quality is pretty good. And here we have Rainbow Dash and Spitfire. Yep, I actually, she looks really nice. The colors are pretty good. Um, the hair is actually really soft. Like, this hair quality is really nice on this one. For Rainbow Dash, though, they, like, um, all they have is, like, red and green hair on it, and they replace the other colors with tinsel colors, like blue tinsel and yellow tinsel, so... It's gonna be a bit harder to, like, style it if you do, because the tinsel I'm not a big fan of, because it kind of frizzes and stuff, so it's not really a good choice for this toy, but they did also do the glitter on the legs, and this time the legs aren't super spread apart like the other one. And so the eyes are pretty good. Her eyes are nice and painted on well, except I just noticed, you can't really tell because the camera is so small, but they, the factory must have got nicked or something like when they're doing the factory paint because the eyelashes have a bit of a scratch, on, scratch it. on it. But other than that, she's pretty good. And there is um, her wings and they actually painted on the little hoof. So she's really detailed, I think. I really like this hair quality. I don't know what hair they're using for it, but this is actually really soft. Unlike all the other ponies they have done. Like really, Clyde, don't you feel it? Like if you feel well, it. Well, I'm feeling yeah, I'm feeling like the part of like Applejack's hair over here. It's soft, 
but if you feel like the big max hair, it is actually, it's, actually it's, really it's a different coarse. it's a different yeah. hair, probably because they need it to stand up, which yeah. why would you need it to stand up? So I'm really glad cause... they're using better hair quality because it's really soft and not like prone to frizziness. So here is Miss Pummel in and Rarity. Rarity. And like all the main six characters, she comes with this tinsel hair. So yeah. And glitterified hooves. Glitterified hooves. Yep. And her legs are not well actually they are a bit spread out. Not as much as Applejack's though. But yeah, so I like the pearlish glitter that they have on her. And as you can see, the newish molds have like longer horns. And her mouth is opened. So the only thing is I wish they would actually paint the mouth. Then Miss Pummel over here, she has a nice cutie mark. Her paint job was pretty good, except um, as you can see, the paint went wrong and it looks like the factory shifted over too much or if maybe this is supposed to be how it's supposed to They look be. a bit too spaced apart, but They granted, look like they're tilted and pushed over. I'm not sure if that's granted, how it's that supposed to be. That could be the choice of like how they did Fluttershy's eyes. I'm yeah. not really sure. So they're very spaced apart. And again, it feels like they have the same hair, so they're pretty soft. Still soft yeah. hair going on here. But like we said in the other ones, they are they have nice coloring, so they look like the characters, so at least color-wise. And now here is Derpy and Twilight, and again, they have the sparkle and the tinsel on her hair, and look how long her hair is. It's a lot, substantially longer than Derpy's. Like, that's really long. Again, and again, it seems like they're using the same hair quality. The colors are pretty good, except for Derpy's hair. It seems that they went for a really light neon yellow versus her nice cream color hair. And they did the eyes how they're supposed to be, and that looks nice. And her cutie mark is perfect, on point, and Twilight's is the same as the other ones that they have of her. And the tail's actually really curled around her leg, which I like when they have curly tails. Here we have DJ and Fluttershy. Overall, it's the same. It appears that Twilight, you know, that Twilight's Fluttershy has some tinsel in her hair. Her hooves are all sparkled. She still has the same colors and hair quality. Her Eyes seem to be in the spot they usually are with the other gener new generation pony that we but reviewed. I think that kind of sucks with having the sparkle stuff is that they don't have it in the front, so it's kind of strange. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yeah, it's just like pink hair, and then it, the tinsel comes out. Onto DJ, they have the you know glasses like how he usually does. He has the open mouth like Rarity, and um, they actually changed the hair color on the new DJ versus the old DJ. They have a very they have more like brighter colors like actually in the movie yes. versus the darker they navy make it blue. More show accurate with the colors, which I'm glad about. And they also have his hoof out like this, and it looks a bit uh, broken. It looks like it's actually, I think, I mean, what they actually, they made, they I think they actually put a hole in the pony and they attached. That and is so strange. The, the, this hoof is actually completely detached versus from the, from the rest of the body. It's actually a separate mold in itself, so that's pretty interesting. This is what it looks like from the front. And it's so hard to keep our opinions. Especially um, for me. That's why Lee's been talking, because I can't hold myself. Yeah, this is why I'm talking, because Clyde cannot hold her opinion. And we know there's some of you guys that actually want these and like these, so... So we don't want to discourage wanna, you from buying Yeah, them. we don't want to discourage you guys from liking this, because it's perfectly fine if you like this, but we'll uh, tell you our opinions at the end of the video. But uh, there's this hoof. Here is Mod Pie and Pinkie Pie, and right off the bat, we're really confused as to why they chose yellow. yellow. It, is it because it's part of her cutie mark? She has some yellow in her cutie mark, but it's not like a... You think they, maybe they choose... I think the hot pink just would look better just with the hot pink. So uh, there is the main six with the sparkly hooves again. And uh, yep, the hair is pretty long. We have Mod Pie, they actually... Um did her hair from like the front, like how they did yeah, like they the first one, they that. have like it rooted and being pulled to the front, which actually would have been nice to do for Twilight. Yeah, why didn't they do that for Twilight? Like they, I love how they It could be that. because her horn is in the way, oh, but right. like that, they, they should have done that for Twilight. And then, um... But I like how they did put her hair in a little ponytail. And I wonder if it's cut like this, because then when you take it out of the ponytail, I wonder if it's all the same length. I'm not sure. Yeah, it, it looks seems like to a little girl, diagonally. um, chopped off the hair. Opinion. Sorry, no, I'm just saying <laughs> it's chopped. Like and then her hair, her, her uh, tail really is actually long. pretty straight, so at least they're staying true to like how her tail is. But yeah, like Clay said, I wonder if when you have it down, it looks more flat cut instead of diagonal. But yeah, I really like how they um, did it like the show. So I wish they would do that with every pony. Her eyes are de pretty detailed too. They actually have yeah. like the eyeshadow and everything. Just like so. this show, I'm really glad they used different eye um, structures for them. So there are the sisters. Guys, here are all the ponies. We hope you liked this video. If you just want to end it here, you can, but if you want to see our opinions, you can stay to the end. Okay, guys. Looks like you stayed. And yeah. now it's time 
for us to give Honest our opinions. opinion. Just think of us as Applejack, you know? Right. Honesty is the yes. best policy. But we gave you a chance to leave because we don't want to deter you from buying these. Because, you know, if you like them, that's okay. But, you know, was it a waste of $60? I don't know. We're going to be talking about Big Mac. I mean, overall, it's actually surprisingly nice to have Big Mac as an actual pony because we didn't have him in the last generation. But his mold looks very odd. It doesn't look that odd from the side, but from like the frontal view, it looks really odd because um, his eyes look really spaced apart. You could tell how ballooned his head is, which is nothing like his character. His character has a very like, also his sharp eyes are, aren't supposed to be this big. His eyes are supposed to be drooped, slanted. Yeah, and they and gave him small. like a winged eyelash. Yeah, like if he's like a model with makeup. Yes, he's. I mean, he, he looks like a female Big Mac in my opinion. You know, like, and then he has the the the, the mohawk. In Big Mac's hair, like hangs down. He has bangs. So yeah. Also, another thing, I think the body looks pretty show accurate. Like if you show this, yeah. this looks like Big Mac's yeah, body. Yeah, from, from the side, uh, it's yeah. his eye and hair it actually doesn't look that bad. Yes, but, from the side, it doesn't look that bad. But when you go from the front, like this, just looks like if uh, he has a brain tumor. Yeah, and actually from the front, like his, you know, just the bottom half of his body doesn't look that bad either. I think the male mold isn't as bad except for the head. Yes, and it's the same exact mold as the shining armor mold. So we wish they did separate molds for each one. Why are we talking about each like single one because we have reviewed some of them already? But we wanted to talk about the worst one. This one. Look at her eyes! We don't know if it was like a choice by the creators or if it was just like the manufacturing, but it just seems like her eyes are too far apart when you face her right for the frontal view. So honestly, I don't know what to say about it. She looks kind of like a bird in my opinion. <laughs> She looks yeah, she like a bird. looks like her head is very bloated, just like She all almost the other looks ones. like a seahorse pony. You know the seahorse ponies that they have? I feel like this would have been a good mold for a seahorse pony. Yeah. But I feel like they have extra too much space over here and just makes it look like the paint job was messed up. And still, I think their heads just look bulbous. Yeah, I just don't like the new mold. For these two, I guess out of all of them, my favorites are probably these three out of all of them because Derpy looks kind of cute. I like how they did the eyes and she looks kind of strange but unique. So those are probably my favorite out of this. Or not favorite, but the ones that are decent. Decent, yes. I just like to say, Lee said that Miss Pummel was the worst, but my personal worst is Twilight because when you go like this, <laughs> you're right. It's just like I you're just right. don't, that one could possibly I, be cute. And her, can I just say something? Her eyes go up to like almost where her horn is, like her eyelashes. Like it almost seems like her eyes are like. I feel like they squashed squirrel. it and blew I it up this way. I don't know. I still just can't stand how they're making Twilight. Yeah. And I, I think she's worse than from the one we bought previously. I think, yeah, I think she is. I think she's worse. How do they make her worse? Like, for her eyes, I feel like they stretched them out this way and then squished it that way. Look, she is worse. Oh my oh gosh, Oh my gosh, right. she's worse. Okay, guys, so if I were you, buy these before you get this because if you actually plan on like, having these, that's this one looks like, cuter. They make her face look pudgy, and this one, her eyes look like they're like like tilted oh. or smushed. And she's shorter. She is? Look at that. And she's also, is she skinnier in the other one? Or no, her, her legs are just pushed out more. I think it's from the box. I don't know. Maybe the box made her shorter, but yeah, like Clay said, she looks cuter while her eyes go up more. Like it's going up more. I don't understand it. I, I don't know. I just, I noticed that. I saw this one and it just didn't look right in my, it did not look Yeah, right. look at that. They make the eyes go up more. That's really weird. Now for the weirdest mold. It's not the most, dis the, you know, like revolting, no, but it's just it weird. Looks. Look at it. It looks like a pony chopped off its I leg mean, and then glued on a smaller leg. If they just gave it a normal hoof, it wouldn't look so bad. But like if it was all one piece. It I looks think. like it looks, it looks like, like DJ <laughs> broke the, their leg. I mean, their it looks leg like is... he broke it. Cause look at the front. It looks like he broke it, and he's like trying to wobble to the hospital. By the way, any of you guys who are watching this as a review, we are well aware that DJ is a female inside of the MLP show, but we have DJ as a boy in our series, so that's why we're yes. calling him he. Yes, yeah, sorry, she or he. Or we just wanted to let you know. Yes. Know. So as you can see in the front, the front, it just looks. I will really say weird. I do commend them for using different hair colors because I know sometimes they stay with the other hair color they used to have, and this is actually the color from this show. I just wish they would have put this into the yeah, new. Yeah, I do want to say the then. plus about these is that the hair quality is great. It's well, for softer. These ones, it's like. Even for for the old ponies, it's like, not like ours. plastic. Yeah, it feels really soft and silky. Yeah, like this is. And like um, yeah, like the older ones have a thicker, coarser hair, but this one's really nice. But I don't care for the open mouth because they don't paint it, so it looks a bit strange. 
So my downfall is it looks like they sawed off his leg it and glued on another one. Yeah, I mean, I guess this pony to me, when you look at it, it almost looks like a knockoff because one, the yeah. mouth isn't painted, and two, it looks like the hoof is a separate part from the body. So I think if they want to at least keep the hoof that way, which I wouldn't recommend, I'd at least make it one mold because then it looks really weird because it looks detached. Here we just wanted to show the comparisons of the old generation, well not old, but you know, the older, well, yeah, older old, yeah, red generation yeah. DJ with the newer generation. And I think the reason why they did that is because the old DJ actually had his hoof like that, so they wanted to do the same. So as you can see, the hair color is very different. Drastically is different. Much darker. Which in, in the movie, it's much lighter. Mm -hmm. So I do like, I think the hair color is a nice change. Although I think just one thing, I think they should reroot it with the darker color first. I think that does look a bit better. Right, they almost, started with a dark. It almost light, looks like light, like it's like an older DJ, like he's going <laughs> going gray or something, because it's like a lighter color first. You're right. But he that's looks just a my bit opinion. washed out since they have lighter colors. But I feel like they, I like the older eyes glare better than that one, because it looks a bit. I don't know. What do you think? Well, actually, from like when I, I when I Photoshop DJ, this glare is actually more like the glare from really? the actual movie. Oh, well, at least right. at least the stock photo that I was looking at. But I do like this glare better. I like or at least they should make this glare fatter or something. I don't know. Or, it looks yeah, too I like the colors in this one better than that one. It looks more dull. Which I'm I'm glad how they made the colors more vibrant. Yeah, I feel like this DJ's duller colors. I wish the colors were switched, and then we could be happy. Yeah, so then here's this, and his is a smaller cutie mark with glitter because it came with the Toys R Us exclusive. I think that's cutie mark's a bit too big for this DJ. Like yeah. their, butt, their butt's really tiny, which actually, if you look in the show, their butts are huge. Sorry for this DJ's hair is all so. messed up. But yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, also the horns is extremely long versus this little nub. But they, look at they, that. Well, they have they have the horns the same it's size so as tiny. Twilight's horn. Have you noticed that? Yeah. The, the horns of the unicorns are the same size as this Twilight. And technically, in the movie, her horn this looks is like a baby horn. Look at it. Well, technically, the unicorns, the regular unicorns, like Rarity and stuff, her yeah, horn is smaller than Twilight. Yeah. You only get lo they only get bigger once you become like an alicorn and stuff like that. So that's one thing I guess that they should have thought about was they should have made the horns a bit smaller, but they probably wanted to save the Monet for mm -hmm. the same bones. So, so that's the review, everybody. Yep. So, um, if you would like to buy this, I mean, it does have a lot of ponies in it, so... I mean, if you're into these ponies and you like them and you would buy them each individually, this is a money saver because they're only $5 each because there are 12 ponies in this pack. Mm -hmm. So, if you do like these molds, then it'd probably be worth the money and for you. if you'd see them and you really want them, I would buy them while you can because, you know, people are going to start shopping for Christmas. And food. they are a Toys R Us exclusive, yeah, so, so you can only buy them only at Toys R Us. at Toys R Us, and we haven't seen them in stores yet, so we bought them online and it just got shopped. <laughs> shipped. shipped. Sorry. Shotty at us. <laughs> oh my gosh. They just got shipped to us yesterday, so we decided to film a review. And um, this is the only one with Big Mac in it, so that's why we also got that's it. That's the only reason why we bought it. Or Also, there were some other ponies that haven't been made yet, but we're like, oh, there's a Big Mac. That's a big thing. So, but um, would I personally recommend this for $60? I really wouldn't. Um, I only, I mean, pretty much we only bought it because it's a collector's item, but if you're looking to like, have really good ponies and you don't really like these molds very much it is not yeah, worth yeah, $60. If you don't really want it then I wouldn't buy it because we don't really want it so you're probably like why'd you buy it? Well for what you guys wanted to see We wanted it, to make a review. So we wanted to make a review so we bought it so we could show you guys and then you guys can see it so you don't have to buy it if you don't want and to. And if you haven't noticed from our like massive amount of ponies we are toy collectors so. So we still like to collect the pony toys even though they're not our favorite. Because We're not gonna buy every single one, but like the Toys R Us exclusives and stuff like that, the you more know, rare ones. Yeah, it's nice to have ponies from every generation, you know? I mean, do we miss the old generation? Yes, because yes. we're not gonna be switching our ponies to the new generation or keeping our OCs the same. Also, I don't think I'll be really customizing them. No, I'm not saying I'll never do it, because I might just do it just for like... And also, we may run out of the know. other generation ponies. Yeah, like... The generation four, we in G4, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But, um... Yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this review. We're sorry that we kind of bashed on it at the end. But we had to but be it's honest. it's our, our honest opinions, so... And you guys can buy it. We're not going to judge you for buying these. Yeah, because I mean, these. Um, <coughs> we kind of bought them. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, so buy them if you want. It's all up to you. Tell us down below if you like the new molds or if you like any of these new ponies. 
And what do you guys think on them? What do you want us to review next? Let us know if there's any new exclusive items coming out because we'll be sure to buy them because yes. we, we, we bought this, okay guys? We went down and bought this. So if there's something else out there, we'll probably buy it for you guys. Also, we cannot wait to watch the new My Little Pony movie. Woo! Also, their new toys look so cool. Like We should remove the like, movie. I love their fun. new figures that are coming out. Like I don't care for these molds, but I yeah. like their figures just like how we just reviewed the sea pony. We will leave ago. that. That will probably be the recommended video yes. at the end here, so you'll be able to watch that. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell if you actually want to be notified every second about our videos. Yeah. Also, um, we will be posting more series just for now since there's so many toys coming out. We, we thought we do wanna, like a toy week. This is like a toy week. We're posting tons of toy reviews, but don't worry, we're not stopping any of our regular. Yeah, series. I think we have a CMC support group video, or did we already post that? Uh. I think we already posted it. I don't even remember anymore. Yeah, I think we did. And so we'll try to film a perk family for you guys sometime soon, since you guys are wanting that. We figured if we're going to do toy reviews, we might as well just do all of them in one week versus having them spaced out, because we don't want yeah. these counting as the weekly video, because they're just reviews. Yep, so um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we thank you guys for supporting us. So uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Bye-bye!